Hello everybody and welcome back. As always, I am Mateo 311 and this is your channel for everything VR related. Today, we're jumping into the sequel for Thrill of the Fight, a game that was easily one of the best VR boxing games ever made and a staple title that at least every single VR gamer should have tried. The beta for Thrill of the Fight 2 is currently available on MetaQuest headsets and this time they've introduced online multiplayer PvP. And that's exactly what I'm going to be showcasing today. The developers did reach out to me and said, hey, can you show off some gameplay and talk about your overall experience? So that's what I'm doing, and I'm jumping into the ring with Fit Pro VR. So this is primarily a mashup of our PvP footage, as all single-player content will be released at a later date. So let's not waste any more time and jump into the ring. Okay. No, or it tells me I moved out of the room's, uh, room. I put area. it for for like 90. No, what did I put? Like, like yeah. Like oh, let me. Let three minutes, two minutes. Oh, there we go. Three, there we go. Okay, now I'm centered. All right. Be dead in real life by now. <laughs> so much head trauma. <laughs> Do we actually <laughs> take damage? Oh, I have no clue. It's not giving me like the old one where you can like get dizzy. Yeah. Just in real life, like orange. <laughs> Can't remember last time I did cardio. Today. <laughs> oh yeah, right now. I hear no bell, <laughs> but I want to. <laughs> uh oh. oh. Oh, there you go. I was frozen for a second. <sighs> Now, before we jump into a bit more gameplay, I just want to talk about the current status of the Thrill of the Fight 2 beta. As it stands right now, this is a fantastic foundation, but there's not a ton of content. What they do showcase here is that they've pulled it off. They've managed to make a really good multiplayer boxing game that still somehow feels like their original title and will definitely have you working up a massive sweat. You can play in both stationary or room scale mode, which is ideal for people with or without a lot of extra space. Now, most of my gameplay is in stationary mode because when I was in room scale, I was getting a little bit too carried away, constantly getting close to my border, ruining my footage, and it was only a matter of time before I punched the wall. So don't get on my case that my feet are completely planted during the majority of the gameplay. I understand that is terrible boxing form, but anytime I started to move too much, the game told me to recenter, which ruined my footage. So I played the majority of the game with my feet completely planted. Ideally, room scale is the better option. Another thing I noticed when you're in the stationary mode is the camera will stay locked on your opponent, which is good if you're in a room where you can't personally rotate, but I'm hoping they give you the option to turn that on and off because if you're someone who doesn't like smooth turning, yeah, this is exactly how it feels. It could be a little disorienting or cause nausea for some people. Now, the other aspect that I think needs a little bit of tweaking is how much physical damage you can actually take before going down. Me and Fit Pro VR did some testing and you could actually sit there and tee off on your opponent for 30 to 60 seconds before you physically knock them out. Now, it does look like as the rounds go on, your stamina will reduce and it does get easier and easier to knock out your opponent. But I'm not sure if they want to lean more towards the realism side or arcade side. The best option here would be a multiplayer mode that controls how much physical damage you can actually take. And finally, the game does have a character customization system, which is also bare bones at the moment, but you will be able to specify your gender, body type, physical appearance, and change some other accessories like your boxing gloves and shoes. Come out. <laughs> go to this corner, okay. All right, here we go. All right. I mean, it's one of the better experiences for yeah. multiplayer. The, um, I'm trying to think of the other one, golden gloves. God, that sucks. That one sucks. Oh, yeah. Ooh, a nice uppercut. Usually they don't land in the original. Oh, 
Come on, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Bite your ear off. I just don't know if we're taking any damage. I have no clue. It doesn't show me anything. Like, it doesn't even say I'm dizzy. Here, here, try punching me until I fall down. I think oh, wait, there I go, there I go, there I go. I'm getting dizzy. So overall, I was impressed with this title. Like I said, it's a great foundation to build off. The most important thing is they pulled off the multiplayer. It's fun, it feels right. You can even get up to somebody and clench, you know, when you're getting too tired. So overall, that's really good. And from here, they'll just add more content, more levels, more accessories, and I wanna see eventually what the single player has to offer. They give us something like a campaign. Yeah, this is gonna be a top-notch title. And that was today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any more questions about the game, please let me know down in the description, and I'll see you guys on next time.